It is answer A, blown. Both equal, tapped, fizz deep and rising, tap water higher. If you blow over the neck of a bottle, you make the air in the bottle vibrate. The frequency of the sound is determined by the speed of sound in the gas and the height of the air column. These are the same in both bottles, so the resulting sounds also have the same frequency. If you knock against the bottom of the bottles with a spoon, you make the liquids vibrate. The frequency of the vibrations results from the height of the water column and the speed of sound in the water. While the water column is the same height in both bottles, there is only water in the bottle with tap water and a mixture of water and gas and bubbles in the bottle with sparkling water. The speed of sound in gases is lower than in liquids, so that in the sparkling water it is lower than in the tap water. As a result, the sound frequency in sparkling water is also lower than in tap water. As the gas bubbles in the sparkling water rise to the top and burst, almost pure water remains quite quickly so that the speed of sound and thus the sound frequency increases. <laughs>